Welcome to Odo Total by Besson Product. Today we are looking at the creation of anti account, anti tag, and chart of tokens. Let's start. First, we can look to creation of chart of tokens. Chart of tokens is a list of records that are used to record the financial transaction of an organization. Let's start. In invoicing, under configuration, you can select a chart of tokens. In here, you can create a new chart of tokens. You can give a code. And name of new accounts, I will give you expense. Then you can select a type of accounts. Uh, I choose uh, expense accounts, and also you can allow a pre cancellation and you can save it. And here you can set setup and you can view the accounts that we are created. Then we have give this account to a product. I choose a product. And in accounting, expense account, I give this accounts. After that, I will create a vendor bill. I choose a vendor and vendor bill. I choose this product in account. In here you can see this general account and this corresponding account here. This is all about the chart of accounts. Next we can look to creation of anti account. Anti account is an account that are used to track a particular product's revenue or expense from entire system or entire items. Let's start. From here, first you need to allow the anti account that is from settings. You can select invoicing. And first, you need to allow anti account. Save it. Then we have to create anti account. That is from invoicing configuration. You can see the anti account. In here, create a new anti account. That is uh, naming a new. Give a group, and then give a custom. Set. Then I am going to create a vendor page. Select a vendor and build it. And choose a product. And I am setting this entry account from here. And your price. Then I confirm this vendor pay. Then you can check this antique transaction on, in antique items that is under configuration. And you can see this transaction that is antique accounts filter transaction from here. Next, we can look to creation of antique tag. Antique tag is used to split the expense or revenue into a different antique accounts. And first, we need to Hello, anti tag from settings. You can select invoicing. Okay, from here you can add hello and tag. Then you can move to invoicing. Uh, in invoicing under configuration, you can select anti tag. Here I am adding a new anti tag that's name contracts, and under it, I need tick and distribution. From here, I am adding a new anti tag under it. 
that is a new, new one and percentage I will 50 percentage and next I add new 2 percentage is giving to 25 and next I add adding new 3 that is set for the percentage to 25 ok next we can create a new vendor pin here and says the vendor and build date and add a product and I choose the anti tag that is contract and give a price amount to control. Then I confirm it. Then you can look from antique item. Okay, I select the antique items from configuration and from you can see that three antique items that is for anti item new one new two new three in new one you can see that amount is 100 that is 50 percentage of the 200 and new two that is 50 that is 25 percentage of the 200 and new three is for 25 percentage of the 200 that is you can see that the total amount is fitted to three anti account that is all about the anti tag so that is all about today thank you for watching